a single case will be reported in prisons of COVID, then hey, just know that it will be massacre. It will be disastrous. There is congestion in there because the cells which were built uh, some time back, I think before even uh, we got independence, we are meant to accommodate maybe for 45 inmates. Now we'd find that uh, that number is tripled. For those that could not have the opportunity of being on the bed space, they would have to sleep with their legs under the beds and their heads outward in the, in the little corridors that are left for you to use as passengers. There was a, a term which we call in Nyanja there, the, 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 the terms in prison, they say chitaka taka, whereby people you sleep like uh, the bags of maize. You squeeze, you, sometimes you stand. So uh, sleeping there, space there in prison is pathetic. The president has pardoned quite a big number you know, of inmates. It's actually unprecedented that this year the president pardoned over 2,000, close to 3,000 you know, uh, inmates. Sentences are being given to people. They haven't stopped and that COVID is, is still on. You know, this COVID, a lot of inmates, it will be hard for them to even maintain social distance. I'm on my knees asking for the president with his power he has that he can consider, do look, we have got coronavirus because this coronavirus in prison is very easy to be spread there. You can't control it when it, it goes there. It requires the government to put up some measures to ensure that it protects its citizens. Because being in prison does not mean that even the human rights have been taken away. Inmates are part of the nation, so we urge the head of state to do more by considering releasing a bigger number of you know, uh, inmates.